January 30th, 2019. I have a pretty rare little item here. This is a Pache Type AB Turbo. Uh, airbrush. It's got the little ink well or paint well down here. I've got this partially disassembled. I wanted to it's mine, it stopped working. It wasn't spinning, so I have to take it apart. And what you do is you got to take out the little cap screw and the little screw on the inside of the cover here, and then you have to very carefully wiggle this cover off. It fits on there very snugly. And this is the inside workings of the Pache Type AB Illustrator Detail Brush. And you see a little wheel in there, and it spins around. It's like a little thin little dime. It's got little teeth on the edge of it. I guess that's what catches the air and uh, makes it spin around. So it seems like it's spinning pretty good. I guess it was just uh, stuck um, on, a little, on the little, oops, got my thumb in the way there. I guess it was just stuck on the little uh, bearing nubs here. So I'm going to try to uh, take the rest of this apart and clean it and see if I can get that freed up and working. It might be an air channel clogged in there or something. I got some carburetor cleaner. I'm going to blast through it and try not to blow any of these parts away. All right, I got the little wheel out. You have to depress the trigger here and there's a little tiny screw there. Whoops. A little tiny screw on the top of that arm that goes through and screws into that little hole there and when you depress the trigger it pushes this in and out pushing this in and out across that little cam there and that's what makes the needle move back and forth or move uh, in front of the spray nozzle so I'm going to clean this up, oil it, see if I can get it back together without destroying it all right, I lifted the uh, the needle arm off there, and I don't know if you, you can kind of, there you go. You can kind of see the little eccentric on the uh, wheel there, the top side of the wheel. There's a little there it goes. You can see the that's the cam action. That little nub there when it when it turns that little piece right there is what on the shaft which moves it back and forth so that's that's where all the needle action takes place and it's pretty clean got a little dried grease on the bottom so I'm gonna carburetor clean this and scrub it up and uh, just clean everything put a little tiny bit of sewing machine oil in there and see if we can get this thing spinning again all right I got everything apart here now I took the little screw out of the uh, arm there that goes to that and I think I found the problem the, the air for the wheel, whoops, let's shake this around a little more. The air for the wheel, if you can, let me see if I can get this thing to focus and zoom. All right, right there in the center. Now it's not, is it going to focus me? All right, well, anyways, right, whoops, there, let me, well, this is really hard to do, even with two hands. It wants to focus. Is my finger in the way? What's going on here? All right, here's the, I think I can almost get a shot of it. Turn the lights on, get a little more light on it. Okay, so if you look in the top, whoops. And this is going to be the only video on YouTube. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, there, we can actually see it now. This little hole right here, right there, tiny little hole on the inside of this. That's where the air, regulated by this screw, turns that wheel. So I think that looks like it might have a, oops, a little bit of stuff in there. I'm going to try to clean that out. All right, I've taken and I've polished that little wheel up. It's a lot cleaner now. It was kind of black, just had a little patina on it. Paint doesn't get in any of this. It's all mixed externally over there by the needle. But... Um, had a little bit of dried grease or something. Oops. Yeah, let's see if we can drop and lose some parts here. And these are extremely, be very careful with these, extremely
extremely delicate, fine, tiny little intricate parts like a watch. So there's the bottom of the disc. Got that all cleaned and shined, and I'm going to uh, start to reassemble it. Now there's the top with the cam. And we're going to put this back together see if we can make it spin. I did uh, blast some carburetor cleaner through there and got some uh, air to stream out of that hole. And I also cleaned up all the gook out of the uh, screw hole on the top where the uh, adjustment screw goes to that. I'm going to polish that off and put some uh, oil on that put that back together. All right, I got the little arm and the set screw back on there. Man, that was not easy. That took about 20 minutes. All right, so I got that on there. Let's proceed. All right, now these little arbor nuts or the little bearing nuts that hold the wheel have a hole through them, so you don't have to oil that before you uh, assemble it on the box. I put this back in there. I took 20 minutes to put that screw in. I was like, oh, I didn't put any oil in there. But the, whole, the screws have a little hole through them, so you just have to clean those out, which I... Probably should have spent a little time cleaning that bottom one, but I think just getting some oil in there will help, and getting it adjusted right should uh, do the trick. Oh my god, I spent 20 minutes getting that arm on there, and it's upside down. It's backwards. I have to have it on the other way. Oh my god. All right, it only took about five minutes that time. Uh, what I did is I put a Jorgensen clamp holding the end up so I can keep this kind of stationary not flopping around and then I uh, slid it underneath there with the trigger pulled back with this bread tie I looped around there that holds the screw out so you can get to it and uh, got that back on so that yeah after uh, half an hour of doing that you learn how to get that in there all right now this cap the cover snaps back on there and then the set screw goes in there so trying to get that wheel lined up you got to keep this thing kind of level and flat and then snap the cap on and put your set screw in there and what I did was I just rattled it I shook it and I could hear the wheel flopping around in there so I tightened the screw down little by little until it didn't rattle anymore and then I backed it off just about a sixteenth of a turn and I could hear it rattle again so I snugged it down just a tiny little bit I might have to loosen it but that's going to be the you know, the tension, the uh, pressure on the bearings on that wheel in there. So that's what's going to make that wheel flop or not. Oh, another important note. If you're going to clean this with carburetor cleaner, take your tailpiece off because this plastic will melt with gum out carburetor cleaner or ether or whatever you're using. So um, make sure you take that off. Um, so I got this all cleaned. I got it mostly put back together. I got to put the uh, caps on the top and the bottom. I got to put the air valve back in, the needle and the needle uh, adjustment. Here's your uh, air valve there. Whoops. There's a little plunger that pushes it down on the top. The uh, square nut, which is a Pache uh, standard piece, and a little spring in there. So I'm going to put those back in, put all the rest of this stuff back on, see if we can get this thing to spin. All right, took a little more doing. I had to, whoa, what am I doing here? This wrong hand. I had to uh, flip this upside down, take a jeweler's glass and look inside there. You can hear it. It's a little disc spinning in there now. You can see the little see the needle going back and forth. So it's working now. What I had to do is I had to flip this upside down and shake it a little until the uh, the little uh, end of that, whoops, drop that again, would drop down there into the uh, screw and then I tightened it up just a little bit and then I loosened it a little and I tightened it to drive it down into the bottom bearing and then I flipped it over and I Loosen it up just a little. I could hear it shaking just a tiny little bit, so I hooked it up. You can hear it and see it. I'm going to put the needle back in and show you the rest of it. All right, well. Focus, focus, focus.
There it is. That's how it works. i let it get up a little speed. I don't know if that's... It's clean. i got to have it up to about 35 pounds for it to work right, too. It's not a very practical brush. It's uh, more of a novelty than anything. I don't think you would want to use this uh, just because of the uh, tuning that it takes. I've been working on this thing for over an hour and a half this morning. And finally got it working. Feeling pretty good now, actually. I think it would actually... It would actually work. But yeah, I think the pressure's too high. I don't know. Maybe, maybe somebody can tell me. But that's it. Cut.